It's that time again, everyone. It's the one hour, 10 minute, one minute art challenge. But this time, and for the first time, I'm doing it with oil paints. Now the reason I actually thought this could be fun is because a couple of weeks ago I mucked around with oil sticks, which was a really interesting experiment and really fun. And I painted some character oil paintings that I spent a little over an hour each on and I was really happy with the results. And having that really free flowing sketchy feel and I want to feel my way through that process after an hour with a specific time on the clock and then repaint the same thing as you might have guessed <laughs> in 10 minutes then in one minute. All right, an hour on the clock. Let's go. It's going to be a portrait to a lady. I want to go artsy so that if it's crap, I can at least like be like, oh, it's just, I'm just being artsy. Here we go. I feel like that's a pretty cool sketch. I've got a dark blue, but I'm going to add a sort of a mid to light blue to get a really vibrant color. God, I'm real. I've got to say, I want to do more oil paintings and I feel like I want to try this challenge, but increase the time every time. Maybe next time we'll be like, you know, two hours and then three hours and so on. Because there really is something very fun about oil painting that I'm just like, oh, this is why people do this a lot. <laughs> I like that. It's fun. Let's move on to hair and skin tone. a skin tone so having like a, a default sort of medium pinky light brown skin tone but then mixing into like something extreme like a blue or a purple I feel like that sort of thing is really fun now as you can see I'm covering my sketch as I go so it's also fun to like sketch in that shade and color as I'm painting the skin tone and that way I can sort of keep the uh, references to where I'm ending up as I go hasn't even been 10 minutes and I'm actually getting into this pretty quick. So I'm hoping with the rule blocking down, I can spend a bit of time actually really refining the shape and start adding some details. I'm just gonna push and pull the shapes and silhouettes a little bit just with the brushes. I think the hair's a bit too tall up here. So I'm gonna start just adding in details that I can still push around. They're like, they're not set in stone, but then I feel like the broader shapes will either make more or less sense as a result. And then I can sort of push things around a bit. I feel like that's a pretty good foundation. I'm just gonna grab a small brush and just add some potential highlights just to shape those or start those. Now this is in my mind, I'm still like very much in the blocking phase. I'm just starting to put areas of detail that I can um, further refine, but I'm still just trying to make sure that my overall shapes are okay. So now I'm gonna actually muck around with a palette knife. And we're not even halfway through. So I feel like I've got plenty of time to really get to a place I'm actually genuinely happy with. With the yellow of the skin tone, the blue looks green, right? But with the red of the hair, blue is gonna look purple. And I think that could look really cool. So it's building up quite thick here and I feel like I built it up a little too thick, a little too soon. I'm definitely getting some light, like contrast. Now to, uh, to keep building or to, to keep shaping and mixing colors or you know, getting to the right tone, I have to really go on thick. <laughs> I think you also sort of lose what her hair color actually is. And we've got it mixing into sort of the purples and blues. But I actually think I want to go back to the, I guess, original hair color and just sort of scrape a bit of that in. But it should appear on top, so that will be like the light. Oh, I'm 
liking that texture, but I don't want to overdo it because I always overdo it. Like I feel like I need to just be like, ooh, that's good. Like that, let's not mess it up. Maybe just like one more up here in a dark, like a slightly darker red. So I think now is the time to do a bit, bit of face refinement. I am very much like doing these minor things that are making dramatic changes. But the nose is looking a little funny. I just need to pick a direction that sort of softens it a little bit. All right, so just gonna go through and do a little bit of those textures. No! That's not what I'm after. So I'm gonna move on. The last thing I wanna refine in the face of it is the mouth or oh, like this bit making things pop. I got five, oh, I've got more than five minutes. I'm fine, I'm fine. Everyone watching this is like, give it, the last 20 seconds is not gonna be fine. <laughs> you guys know me. Now I'm starting, okay. I'm still calm as a summer's breeze, but it is, you know, barely over a minute left. So I just want to do a few finishing touches. I want to go, I got this. This is the easy one, okay? Now I'm just going to get a bit of white. Highlight here. Crap. All right, so that is my one hour painting. I feel like I could be happier, but at the, at the same time, I feel like if I kept going, I would overwork things. So it's probably as good as that one was going to get, but maybe the next one with my colors pre-mixed and with a clear direction and a reference, I can slam through it and get to a satisfying result. All right, 10 minutes. And now I'm going straight into it. I've got 10 minutes on the clock. I'm going to work with big brushes to start off with. It's going to jump into it. Let's just jump into it. The blue background. Um, um, hair. This needs to be able to end up a bit more like surreal. With every passing second, I'm looking at that clock and like, oh damn, I'm underestimating this constantly. Broad areas down. I picked a really crappy brush for the skin and all the bristles are coming off. Ugh. I have a minute after this. That's ridiculous. the sketchiness of the face. I thought even with 10 minutes, it'd feel a bit more li liberating and organic than this, but nah, it's sort of like, oof, everything looks bad. <laughs> oh no. I always do the mouth so low and the nose so long. I really need to work on that stuff. All right, I've got four minutes left. I need to slam through this hair texture. I need to mix a fresh skin tone. I'm running out of time. Got no yellow left. I should have put more paint down. So that's skin highlights and I've got two minutes left. I'm gonna work in some skin shadow. F it, I'm going full abstract, man. She's crying. That's actually not bad. All right, some highlights, so a bit more red. Go like more abstract, just one final. No, that did nothing. <laughs> there you go. I actually feel like that last random <laughs> was just like, this is an abstract piece. Bam, there you go. I actually don't mind it. I'm gonna be honest. I mean, 10 minutes, guys. You think that's good? Just wait till you see what I do with one minute. I'll prepare a little more for this. The key that I learned with the 10 minute one, which I spent more than a 10th of the time just mixing paints is preparation. I've got my blue base, got my red, yellow for the hair, which will be a vibrant orange, white, burnt sienna, little bit of yellow. Got a basic skin tone. I need a shadow skin tone, which I'll put over here. I feel like I can do this. I feel like I can do this. All right, blue brush in hand. Blue, straight to red, go. Blue. That's all I need. That's all I need. Straight to red. Ugh. 
really just need to slam these colours down for this to work. Can you give me intermittent time reports? Oh, good. Ah! I thought I was on track. Just let's not panic. Skin. Ha! Ah! Skin. Skin. All right. Ah! Hang on. Okay. Go. Hair highlight. Face deep shadows. Skin highlight. It was never going to be better than that. No matter how much preparation I did. Oh, I really set myself up for success. I mean, let's be frank. We've seen worse paintings sell for high amounts. <laughs> so, you know, this could go in a gallery probably, maybe. There's certainly an allusion to the female face with red hair and sadness. That's the key. This is still a sad lady. You can feel it. You can feel it through the... Am I just crapping on? You let me know in the comments, but I'm actually reasonably encouraged because if I had one more minute, I feel like it might have had more shape. If I had one more hour, I feel like that could be far more refined. If I had 20 minutes with the loose approach, I feel like the next time I do this challenge, two hours, 20 minutes and two minutes, it's probably gonna be uh, even better because I'll know to prepare my two hour one and sort of plan it out a little bit, but also know how to execute the following steps and uh, get a better result each time. So if you had fun, please hit that like button and subscribe for more fun with art and creativity. And let me know if you wanna see me do two hours, 20 minutes and two minutes, and maybe we'll build up every time. And by the time I'm doing 10 hours and the, the quick one is 10 minutes, could do some epic dragon scene with like, I don't know, they're just, I feel like we're just gonna be able to step up every time. But by starting here, we have nowhere to go but up. <laughs> more videos over there you're bound to enjoy otherwise that is it for now thank you so much for watching and until next time i'll see you later